Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today we have episode number 21 of the I Rate Your Team series. Of course, a series where I rate your guys' teams. And if you want a chance to be a part of episode Number 22, the best way to be a part of the next episode is just by sending me your team over on Twitter. Every single Friday, I put up a tweet that basically says, send a picture of your team down below, and all you got to do is reply with a picture. It's that simple. And for example, Carlito, Carlitos' team, I won't be rated today. We are not going to be rating Legend Steam teams. I might look at his because it does change from week to week, but um, probably only like one, maybe two Legend Steam teams per video because the last episode became legends only but yeah a link for the twitter is down in the description and we also do post a bonus episode a bonus 20 minutes of team rates over on my second channel and we pick up where i left off from this episode so here we go let's just get started okay so we will look at a legends team real quick i don't know if this is going to be like a full potential legends team um it does look pretty solid to me you got Ertz, you have brady at quarterback keith byers who i believe is the best running back in the game right now as far as size, pass, catching abilities are even pretty decent on his card. But Carmichael, Sherman Woodson, Julius Ted Hendricks. Um, yeah, this team looks really solid to me. This team looks really solid. So there is one card that I have to talk about. And unless you have a Jets theme team, everyone should try to get their hands on Creed Humphrey. He's a little bit expensive. So um, his, you know, his entry price is a little bit high. But that free identifier that Creed Humphrey is able to get is pretty glitchy. And I do expect us to get a lot more zero ap identifier offensive linemen as time goes on but for now i think creed humphrey outside of a jets team like i said or maybe even like a i mean if you have room on a legends team which you which you should uh creed's a pretty viable cheat honestly but um also yeah as well as two one ap edge protectors also very key and with campus heroes 2 coming out there's a bunch of 93 overall um you know one ap edge protector offensive lineman in this game right now but this team does look really good a good fullback with keith byers i'm gonna give this team about it might honestly just be a 10 um it, it looks really good to me so let, let's keep moving we have uh caleb's team okay he's got a full cowboys team with no fillers or no cheats i guess is what he's trying to say here which of course i do respect i'm still running that tyrant smith he's really sticking to his guns when he says no cheats here um, we have cd lamb mike Irvin, the playmaker demarco murray bledsoe um jason Witten, and amari cooper's uh, helmet sticker card which is actually pretty good especially on a browns raiders or cowboys team also very smart by ea dropping a card that gets browns and raiders cams ea i see what you're doing or not sorry not browns cowboys and raiders cams very smart ea we have trayvon diggs though harold carmichael on a theme team dion um a chidube is actually pretty solid does get chip art uh, pick artist sorry <laughs> pick artist for fairly cheap with demarcus Ware. cowboys theme team's really good um, if you were to if you were to cheat somewhere, honestly, the team does look really good. I would just try to maybe get a one AP left tackle edge protector. And I'm telling you, edge protector and people, if you're not using edge protector, you're putting someone at a major disadvantage. Uh, you have to run edge protectors in this game, and EA knows that they're gonna eventually start dropping zero AP edge protectors. And I wonder what happens with that. I'm very curious to see kind of what cards they give it to and, and stuff like that. I'm also curious to see kind of how you know abilities affect the game down the stretch here in madden 23 i mean we still have a lot of time left but um i don't know what they do next to be honest with you you know what i mean well once we kind of get a bunch of zero ap abilities why even run up like yeah i don't know i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see we gotta see what they do but this team right here i actually do like it a lot i'm gonna give it about a nine a nine four i'm rocking with the squad for sure okay we got a full panthers team i have calvin cornerback at slot corner and miles hartfield usually plays backup strong safety okay so this right here is pretty good um i guess you know the only time you wouldn't be able to run an edge protector is if you have a theme team or you have to run that offensive lineman in that spot but i really do i think as far as cheats go on a team i think at the top of that list should be um you know obviously edge protectors but we have Kree, which is pretty nice we have greg olsen and we did just see keith byers our first team diamond card to get an upgrade get an upgrade and they do keep their 2x chem so do expect a lot of these bigger name diamonds to get their upgrades maybe not all of them do but i'm sure greg olsen will get like a legend or an ultimate legend or whatever the case is there um but or maybe like a playoff card i'm sure he did good in the playoffs when they, whenever they went on that run um way back in cam newton's mvp year but uh mccaffrey looks good to me steve smith very nice with Keyshawn johnson dj moore okay we got tillman we got gilmore we got jeremy chin 
JC Horn with Julius Peppers, Thomas Davis Sr. as well. A Miles Hartfield, he said, plays backup strong safety. And he said he had Calvin in the slot. So Tillman, Gilmore. I forgot Gilmore played on the Panthers, to be honest. I don't know how I forgot about that whole time in Gilmore's career, but I just remembered that. I'm like, damn, he did play for the Panthers. Isn't that where he, that's where he started, right? Damn, I'm tripping right now. But uh, yeah, this team looks pretty solid, man. I'm going to give it definitely like a low nine. Um, again, this team looks pretty good to me. I mean, also, please activate your one AP edge protector on Nicholas here. Please do that. Please, please, please. Um, let's continue to move here. We have A-Rod's team. Only Ray touches the field for my linebackers. I also have Herman Moore at slot receiver. So, um, zero AP lurker, beautiful ability. Um, I, I, if you have a linebacker with zero AP lurker, use them. They animate very similar to safety. Still not as good, but it's very similar. And the Packers defense fully upgraded is one of the best right now in this game. If not the best, you have Julius, you have Hendricks. Razul Douglas, Charles Woodson, Casey Hayward. Uh, he's got Ray Nitschke as well with good edge pressure as well, which he does introduce with Chase Young and Reggie White, Clay Matthews. On um, the offense, he should have Christian Watson, who is a big upgrade for this team, as well as Eric Dickerson. Honestly, the choice between Dickerson and Keith is close to me, but I, I do think Keith is the better back. I, even outside of, you know, a speed boost or whatever the case is, I, I think Keith is more complete. Um, as far as being better, I mean, not maybe not better elusive, but definitely a better pass catcher. Like 95 catching on that card makes no sense. Um, he has Keith as well. I believe he runs the same scheme I run, but this, I mean, this is probably, yeah, this is the best backfield you could probably build. This right here is the best backfield you could probably build. He's got um, edge protector here. He got a two AP there, which doesn't hurt because he has a Packers team. But um, Packers, if they're, I mean, they got Watson, which was definitely big for them, but um, maybe like a Donald Driver upgrade or... Who knows maybe like a jordy nelson just dropped on our heads who really knows but that would be a big big upgrade for the packers team so i'm gonna give a rod's team um it's about a nine it's about like a nine seven i i like the packers team a lot okay let's continue we have a legends team uh this team looks pretty good to me but let's keep moving um let's get into another legends okay another panthers team two panthers teams today panthers looks i guess panthers is kind of on the on the come up here potentially i mean we're getting some panthers squads here i'm not too sure why wait Razul played on the panthers i guess that did, did the last panthers team have Razul? i don't think he did that's very interesting but they got good safeties man they got jeremy chin thomas davis and julius peppers uh, bruce Irvin, a good edge rusher i mean they're 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 tough they're tough and I, th I feel like this team is better than the last panthers team um i believe i gave the last panthers team like a low nine this is like a nine five this is a pretty solid looking squad here man um let's keep going here we got is this uh joe joe she is he isn't he the giants i think he's the giants uh gm but um okay let's see what we got here i don't know what team he has potential for an eagles no maybe just a team he might just have a team um i, I say it every video but i do really value theme teams at least 40 40s if not 50 50s i really like but um hopkins Thielen, keith randall hines watson so for receivers, I actually really like this receiving core with Hopkins and Watson. Two really good deep threats. You are running two, you're running two AP short in on Hop. I mean, ah, this doesn't make much sense. You, I mean, if you're running tight, maybe this does make sense. But Hopkins, I mean, Hopkins, I believe, does get free deep out. But Watson gets some pretty good abilities as far as being a good deep threat and throwing ags. But I guess you probably run tight because you have a bunch of short ends um and stuff like that which it makes sense to me oh we got jason verrett though most likely you are running like some kind of zone scheme it looks like so you have verrett you have carmichael you have denzel ward calvin johnson jeremy chin jalen miles malik uh, this team looks good man no theme team though i'm gonna have to put you at about like a low nine i mean i'm putting you at probably a high eight it's like an 8.9 probably all right but next up we got a 55 out of 59 ers which is interesting um, Randy, Debo, I am expecting there to be a Jerry Rice upgrade soon. Who knows how or when, but I feel like one is coming. A 1AP Trent Williams, who I definitely forget even exists. And this is also a good call here. Um, Vic I mean, not Victor. Why did I say Victor? Why would I ever say Victor? There's no one named Victor on my screen. I just wanted to say Victor. Why did I? I don't know why I said Victor, but Creed Humphrey. Okay. Wait, is this guy's name Victor? No, it's not. Uh, why? Did, what? Okay um creed humphrey yeah you can play him out of position the ability still work i feel like just the value of getting a free identifier is a big w um so i do like that a lot um we got george kittle here let me see that defense so the niners are gonna get playoff cards they did just get of course for they got ronnie lott woodson um they got uh okay they got sherman okay this deal looks pretty good to me man ken norton probably is seeing your field most likely which isn't a bad thing uh, you got Bill there with, no, with zero IP, no outsiders, DeForest Buckner. So definitely stout against the run. 
I'm gonna give this team about like a 9-6, man. I'm rocking with the squad for sure, bro. I'm rocking with the squad. All right. Next up, we got full Raiders. Uh, runs the ball heavy and a lot of man coverage with 335 wide. Crow Julius, Harold Carmichael, Rod Charles, Bo Ted, and Ronnie. Yeah, that secondary sounds pretty hell to me. And, and it's Raiders too, so you're getting plus two speed there. Um yeah, man, Raiders is tough. Raiders is tough. The only uh, issue that I have with Raiders is they have good backs, but I just feel like they don't have receivers. And um, their O-line, honestly, isn't that great either. So you have to use a lot of cheats on the offensive line. Um, I mean, the Raiders team defense is definitely an eight. I mean, they're eight tier. I don't think they're at the Packers level, but they're honestly kind of close because you have Charles. They have better corners, though. The bow plus two speed is probably crazy. Like you could like bow bow with 97 speed you could probably use for the rest of the year. Like you probably could. And you're playing a lot of man, so um, I, I think Charles does get deep out or deep uh, deep route KO, I believe. So um yeah, pretty good setup here. I'm gonna give this team about again, I'm gonna give it like a high six, like a, like a six seven. Or sorry, not a high six. Sorry. J damn, what am I good? Am I good right now? About a high nine, like a nine, six, nine, seven. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we got another Cowboys team. We are just gonna kinda go this go through this one pretty quick but it does look pretty solid to me um we got donnie got some okay like here if you're gonna be using a cheat right at tackle give him edge protector i sound like a broken record but that should be obvious you know what i mean if he's gonna be a cheat that should be a no-brainer um they got pretty decent safeties i think i had malik cooker at like b tier on my safety tier list so push him up about two here um to 95 speed which i really like michael parsons obviously always gonna have good cards in but um we got trayvon Diggs, we got carmichael okay this team here i don't know if it's as good as the last one but um let's give this team he's got he, i think he's going he, he, he has randall the other guy had bled so i believe so huh let's go with a uh this team is like a nine five let's continue okay what team is this here uh looks should be it looks to be just a team i believe no cams maybe but thomas davis over the top taylor rap tyson campbell verrett with Deion sanders hunter off an edge with ed oliver who's actually pretty solid stray hand in the middle okay we got definitely looks to be like a starter pack demon over here we got brian robinson who's solid um i do like the sam Darnold card over the burrow card without question 100 percent not even close you should have picked 100 percent should have picked sam Darnold, but christian watson Pratt firemouth there's actually a lot of really good campus hero uh 93 overalls that came out they're all pretty good to me um, in my opinion so um this team right here nothing too crazy but solid i'm gonna give it about an eight so um yeah let's keep moving here we had snakes team full giants team um saving for 95 dexter lawrence middle linebackers don't play i run nickel okay let's see this giants team man i do not like kurt warner however i am predicting i mean if you had yo if you had that 90 daniel jones he's tough he, he's actually pretty good but i mean i guess you could use kurt warner but i do feel like we are gonna get some kind of giants quarterback in the playoff promo it could be daniel jones or it could be eli i don't know maybe i have a feeling that something's coming for the giants um they need something i, I have a feeling i don't know what it is i just have that feeling but uh, andrew thomas won apa we're using lane johnson as well who does get all of the nfc east cams big usage right there with the uh, ogden you got herman moore we got plexico we got randy we got saquon um this looks pretty good to me let's see this defense we got carmichael we got night train so no real boost in that secondary but i don't believe um if this loads here the giants have that good of a secondary um they might i mean i guess it's gonna be even tough i mean they have that adore jackson card who's pretty good i do expect like a brandon marshall upgrade but that dory card's definitely their best guy and their secondary is looking tough um that's yeah that is exactly why they're a little bit further down my tier or like on my theme team tier list videos and honestly the giant secondary in real life isn't that great maybe they drop like a budget like some kind of budget db for the giants but i don't see them getting like a high overall db or cornerback even in the playoff promo i'd be surprised it would have to be a pretty drastic stretch in my opinion um but i do like this team i think you've definitely utilized your cheats in the right way so i'm gonna give uh, this team right here about another mid nine like a nine five nine six it looks really good okay we already did a, we already did a niners team let's kind of glaze through this one um we got uh or is it graze is it graze or glaze it's definitely not glaze glaze what you do glaze what you do to a donut i think it's graze or gay gaze no that's not it okay um two edge protectors we got stevie we got randy we got jerry we got debo steve young cmc tight ends we're using two tight ends here okay looks it looks good to me rob woodson verrett chavarius i've also noticed a lot of people running verrett in their slot which is interesting 
I mean, it, it makes sense because I mean, odds are your slot your slot corner won't get dunked on as much. So smart right there. We got a we got Tala Taliona Hufunga Hufunga, Hufanga, I believe how you say his name or Hufunga. I don't know how you say his name. I I was calling him Tua for a while, but then I realized his name is just not spelled the same way as Tua. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure that one out. Another tough name here who's probably going to get upgrades because he's actually playing very well for the Niners. Um, we got Ted Hendricks. He looks pretty solid. Ken Norton. Okay, let's um, let's toss Diego's team. Diego's team. Let's toss them. Again, I feel like if you have a full 50-50 theme team and you're utilizing cheats in the right way and uh, you don't have the super expensive cards, I feel like 9-5, 9-4 is about where you're at, to be honest. Okay. Um, screenshots from last week, but I've added Marvin Harrison, Eric Dickerson, Calvin Johnson instead of Eric Allen. Um, I haven't been on this week for Campus Heroes too, so I don't have any of those players. But forty, okay, you're really running a Legends team. Okay, Legends team made the wrong, right, made the right call getting rid of Eric Allen for sure. So, um, for sure, for sure. But honestly, for a Legends team, if I've already it off of last week, it's probably like low nine. Um, we got a twenty-five out of out of fifty Legends, so. Um, I hate to educate people on the Legends theme team, but there actually is no such thing as a 50-50 Legends. The best you can do is 40-40, um, and you only can get plus one speed in the Legends team, which isn't that big of a deal because usually the Legends get a new top tier card every single week, if not two, if not three. So um, yeah, they're usually at the top of the food chain when it comes to speed regardless, and, and really still normal theme teams can't compete because of how hard it is to get to 50-50 and with cheats and stuff. I'm not going to give you the whole spiel, but this team right here, um, I'm not even going to look at it. It's a Legends theme team. Let's keep moving. It's another Legends theme team. All right, Seahawks team. Okay, I run Bunch and Trips out of Saints. Um, okay. And by the way, I don't know if I said it already in this video, but I have nothing against the Legends team team. I just see so many of them in these videos that if I rate all of them, it'll just be the same team over and over and over again. So I do, um, I, I, I probably rate like one or two and then I'm, then I'm done with it. So uh, here we go. We got full Seattle who again is always really good Seattle he's rocking with Jalen Hurts at quarterback okay we got Marshawn Lynch Devin Hester DK Metcalf Jerry Rice Fryermuth. so um I am I, I am predicting we are gonna get some kind of Russell Wilson in the next two drops I think it'll either be a playoff like flashback version of Russ or it'll be maybe a Super Bowl Russell Wilson I, I don't know I'm just thinking here it's possible um I wouldn't rule it out at all but um, I think Russ will get an upgrade. It obviously won't be team of the year. It won't be a playoff card. So they like giving Russ cards and the Seattle theme team. Um, obviously, it's one of the more popular things, I feel like. Um, I feel like a lot of people run Seattle and are Seattle fans. They're, I feel like they're a pretty popular NFL team to be a fan of. But uh, we got Friar Muth. We got Marshawn, DK, Jerry, Devin. Again, I am predicting a, 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 a Brandon Marshall upgrade. I don't think Brandon Marshall ever made the playoffs. So it'll probably have to be like a legend card. I don't think he ever made the playoffs. Um, he was very close, though, with the Jets. Very close. Don't remind me. Anyway, uh, Sherman, Kobe, Tariq Woolen. That looks really good to me. We got Quandre Diggs, Ryan Neal, Jadavian Clowney off the edge with Shelby. I'm rocking with the squad, man. Seattle theme team's kind of tough, and it, I think I had them at A tier, if not B tier, on my tier list, but they're tough, man. Um, again, this team is probably about a 9-4, but it looks really good to me. It definitely does. I'm rocking with it. All right, full Packers. We already saw a full Packers team, and I'm thinking about it. I don't think A-Rod actually had... Did A-Rod have Jair Alexander? I like that Jair card. Even though he's not fast as far as not putting him on a theme team goes, on a full Packers team in the slot, I really do like his card and, is, and has decent abilities. But um, full Packers team looks pretty solid to me, man. You get a bunch of the top tier cards with that speed boost. And um, when a team like the Packers does get a bunch of top tier cards like they did during Ghost and Zero Chill, um, they have that clear advantage over the Legends team because they can't get plus two speed on Legends teams. Packers with plus two speed makes a big difference. Um, they're just a couple offensive weapons away, and this and, and they're starting to fill out a little bit here with Christian Watson, um, who I think is not only a top tier 93, I think he's I think he's just a top tier wide receiver in the game. Honestly, I made a gameplay for him over on the second channel, but let's throw this man. Um, let's throw him about again. It's about like a mid nine, like a nine four, uh, very similar. Um, we got a full Jets team, which I run. They're usually pretty good. Uh, we got Garrett Wilson. We have Plexico. Okay, I would like to see. I would like to see Art on this team. I feel like Art is better than Amari Cooper, but Amari's free, so I'm not gonna knock you there. Um, we got Lakin. Okay, no Faneca. This will not be like I don't think this won't be like a nine. Uh, this is not a nine Jets team theme team, in my opinion. Um, it's not. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. Yeah, no Ronnie. Um, yeah, this team's probably about a high eight to maybe a low nine. Um, for a 50-50, that's pretty low, but. 
I'm I have a lot. I you know I'm very experienced in the Jets theme team, and he's missing a lot of important pieces. But he has some good ones too. So there you go. All right, we got a 51 and 50 Lions theme team. So I have room to make change. By far the best performing team I've ever used in Mutt. Game was fun again, but depression from from after I blew two million rerolls and got no LTD canvas here will probably make me quit. Okay, don't do that, especially if you're like chasing a card like that. I, I don't know. I don't know if Devonta Smith and Jadavian Clowney was worth blowing two million rerolls on, but that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I'm going to post a bunch because Twitter equals garbage. All right, if I see you again, I'll skip you for sure. Let's see this team here. Lions team team. I was told I underrated this team, um, but I underrated them because of the defense. And when I keep in mind, when I do these uh, theme team tier list video, or yeah, these theme team tier list videos, I, I do, you know, not consider cheats. So keep that in mind a little bit. But um, yeah, we're going to do this team and then one more after. But um, okay, Calvin, Slay, Kirby. I mean, they're not, like, it's not. Mm. I actually do like the flexibility that you pulled off there. I like how you put Night Train at safety. He has good tackling stats. I'm personally a fan of that. Um, I, I, th I don't know when we get a, um, a, a Hutchinson card. I don't know how we get it or when we get it, but he should have an upgrade. Whether it was, it should have maybe been a, go a ghost card. It should have maybe, it could, it could be team of the year, but he most likely won't get an honors card. It, and it probably... I'm not going to doubt them, but it probably will be a playoff card. If they make the playoffs, he might get one. But I don't know if they do. The, the NFL is pulling some strings to make sure that they don't get in, which is a little bit crazy. Yeah, let's not talk about that. But um, are, we, are we cheating with Creed? I like, okay, this team actually is pretty good. Um, Braxton Jones also, I believe, is a top tier uh, 93 as well. He has crazy speed and gets one AP edge. I believe I already talked about this card, though. Um, but uh, this team right here, I'm going to give it, again, it's a 50-50 theme team with good enough cheats. He's he's doing a good job at scrambling up. Um, he's got good edge pressure. He's got good skill positions. He's got a good quarterback. This, again, is just a 9-5. And a 9-5, 9-4. I feel like I've given that rating so many times, but they're just very similar. You have a 50-50 plus two speeds across the board. And, I mean, like, you guys are doing a good job. You know what I mean? Um, Daxton, okay, let's do one more team because we already did a Niners team. I think this might be our third Niners team of the day. But, yeah, obviously the Niners team is very good, so... Um, and they're due for upgrades. Probably playoffs, legends. They always get those kind of cards. So, um, again, this one looks good. About, this one might be a little bit higher. I think maybe like a 9-6 for that team. That team looked really good. But let's see. Um, and by the way, this card right here. So, Joe Perry. Joe Perry could get potentially like a Keith Byers-esque upgrade. Um, both those cards are really good. I like Keith a little bit more for his size. But as far as being super complete uh perry's also that way as well so maybe that card would be pretty nice so let's get our last team here and then we also have davis teams again we're gonna skip that one and we're gonna continue here with Braden when, when, when we go to the second channel on monday morning but um here we go cardinals theme team waiting on crow offensive line i don't hate it man i, I like i like doing this i like doing this just keep updating the old line with 32 team promos i like it i, I love the way you think keep those bnd guys rolling but we are full right now we are full we got Keith, we got Tom, we got Larry, AJ Green, DeAndre Hopkins, Zach Ertz. So, honestly, receiving-wise, the team looks pretty good. And CJ2K is still obviously pretty usable. Uh, Pat P, Night Train, Wilson, Sean T. I don't know how you have this team at 50-50, but you somehow do. But, yeah, I mean, this is a tough squad because you're 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 using 2-1 AP um, Lurkers, which is not the end of the world. It's not. It's not the end of the world. But, again, that utilization is a little bit tough. If you are a... If you are a Cardinals fan, stick with it. But I, I mean, Cardinals team, I think I, I feel like I ran the Cardinals team maybe last year or two years ago. I don't really remember, but these receivers are really nice. And um, I'm going to give this team about like a 9-2 to like a 9-1-ish um, because, I mean, you have some decent, ah, ah, this is tough. I'm going to give like a 9-3. Let's go with a 9-3. So, um, yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for episode number 21 here on this channel. A bonus episode will be going live over on the second channel tomorrow morning at 12 Eastern. So uh, stay tuned for that link for the Twitter and the second channel down in the description. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.